Well, right now, we are just getting the Congressional Budget Office latest report on the House Republican plan to repeal and replace Obamacare. It was just posted on their website. It comes after House Republicans went forward and they narrowly passed their bill earlier this month, despite not having the estimates on exactly how much it would cost or even how it would impact the number of Americans insured across the country. Our team is going over that report right now. But joining me by phone is Washington Post congressional reporter and CBS News political contributor Ed O'Keefe. OK, Ed, I'm looking at sort of the big takeaway uh, I'm, I'm seeing right now. And, and correct me if I'm wrong here. It's going to kick 23 million people off insurance by 2026. But that will in return cut the deficit by 119 billion over 10 years. What are you seeing? That's right. And the other thing it suggests is that premiums for people who buy uh, individual insurance, that is non-group insurance, w would drop, but that would be because, uh, on average, uh, they would actually be paying for a smaller proportion, that those, those programs would be paying for a smaller proportion of health care costs. So you'd be paying for less, but you'd also be getting covered for less. At least that's what the nonpartisan Congressional Budget Office determines. 23 million people would lose their health insurance. That's a million less than in the original House bill that had been scored or reviewed by this uh, nonpartisan Congressional Bean Counting Office. That's essentially one way to describe it. So things get slightly better, but that's still a very large number of people. And, and that was the kind of figure that made a lot of moderate Republicans in the House nervous about backing this because they could see the attack ads being written against them. You know, Congressman such and such is going to take you, your, your health insurance away and the insurance of 20 million plus people. Well, that would still be the case in, in this version. Remember, the Senate has made clear they're going to tackle this issue, but they're going to tackle it differently. The only thing they have to adhere to is they have to either meet or beat the savings that the CBO believes this bill would uh, eventually save. So $119 billion saved, reducing the federal deficit by that much between now and 2026. That's the number to beat or exceed. And the reason they have to do that is because right now this is considered a piece of budgetary legislation that only needs a majority of senators to approve, not a sort of separate normal piece of legislation that would require Democratic votes. There's no way that the Republican plan to rewrite health care would get Democratic votes. Although earlier today in an interview with the Reuters news agency, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell conceded he's not quite sure how he gets 50-51 Republicans to agree on a health care bill right now, and that was before these numbers came out. Some are going to be happy with the amount of money it saves, but there are going to be other Republicans who are very concerned about that high number of Americans who would once again potentially be out of health insurance because of this rewrite.